I hope you're doing well. Um, I guess just this season, um, for you with the with the injury you dealt with, and um, how how have you just kind of dealt with everything emotionally, uh, mentally? How how have you just been able to kind of get through you know the ups and downs that that you've had this season? Um, I mean, I give credit to uh, Timmy G, uh, the coaching staff, and my teammates. Uh, really uh, keeping me engaged uh, every day. Uh, coming off that knee injury. Uh, kind of messed me up a little bit. Uh, just haven't quite felt like myself, but I'm getting there every game. Uh, but again, I just give credit to the coaches and uh, my teammates uh, for uh, keeping me aggressive, keeping me confident. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's really who I give credit to. I mean, my family, of course, but my teammates who I'm around every day has is, is helped me a lot. Todd? Race, uh, can you give me an idea of what practice was like the last couple of days and and how the team has tried to readjust to get their defense uh, correct after a rough day on, on Tuesday. Uh, yeah, I mean, we didn't perform the way we wanted to perform uh, against Iowa. Uh, and I mean, that's something that we all knew uh, coming into practice. And I think that what we really thought about was we watched the film and the uh, film doesn't lie. Uh, we weren't uh, doing our normal things. And uh, in practice the other day, we've just been going hard and uh, going at each other a little bit. And I think that'll help us uh, Sunday against Michigan. Jack? Hey, Rice, um, when you had a chance to watch back at that Iowa game, were there one or two things that you noticed that um, you felt like were specific problems that, like, maybe you hadn't had issues with um, previously in the season that um, that you really struggled with against Iowa? Uh, I think one main thing was uh, just communication. Uh, I think that we weren't talking enough uh, uh, during the game uh, to each other, and we were losing our assignments on defense a little bit, and they were hitting, they were hitting shots, so that didn't help us out at all. So I think that's really the main thing. And then, again, we just weren't really in our spots on defense. So uh, we're out of our spots even by a foot. It, it messes up all our rotation. So I mean, it's something we've seen on film, and uh, hopefully we can correct that uh, come Sunday. Alex? Ray, thanks for the time. We appreciate it. Uh, obviously, it's been a long journey for you in Bloomington. You're the longest tenured guy on the roster. It's hard to believe 2017, the summer when you got there. What's – the biggest change in yourself as an individual that you've seen over this time period. And I'm also curious just how rewarding it's been uh, the last two years playing for, for coach Woodson, you, you kind of had to take a chance, you know, by staying and, and deciding that you wanted to play for a coach that really didn't originally recruit you. So I'm just curious how that, that relationship has grown and, and what's been the most rewarding part about playing for him. Um, I would say for the first question, uh, just what I've learned about myself is uh, that I can get through almost anything uh, mentally, physically. Uh, I've grown a lot as a person, uh, and I'm, I'm really grateful for my time here. And then, uh, again, playing for uh, Coach Woodson, that's yeah, been great. Uh, we've been able to build a relationship uh, on and off the court uh, to where he always tells me I'm his son, I'm his, son, uh, I'm his dad. Uh, he's my dad away from home. Uh, so, I mean, just having that relationship with him, uh, for him being able to – coach me, be hard on me. And then at the end of the day, I know it's all love. And he's he's just trying to make me the best player I can be. Uh, I'm just extremely grateful uh, that I came back here and uh, played for a coach like himself. Jim? Grace, thank you again. Uh, you guys are, you have another game left before you go into the Big Ten tournament. And this Sunday, these, these group of games throughout the Big Ten, I think there are six games that day. All but one have an impact on how this season is, how the seeding process and all that is going to lay out. Knowing all that stuff, do you guys think about that at all before you go into a game, knowing the, pre I don't want to say pressure, but the importance of winning this game uh, is going to be on Sunday and, and to allow you guys to do what you need to do and not get into those patterns you talked about when you're not doing the things that you need? Uh, I mean, we really focus on controlling the controllables. Uh, I mean, we get to play a game and we can control how that, that game uh, turns out. Uh, we can't control those other seven games or however many games it is. Um, so, I mean, yeah, we're just focused on uh, getting our defense back right uh, and then our offense will take care of itself. Uh, we have a good uh, test on Sunday against Michigan. And, I mean, all we really can do is uh, focus on winning that game and uh, hopefully the tide turns our way. Zach? Race. Um... If memory serves, uh, senior night, senior day last year was was fairly emotional for you. I mean, what's just what's the what's different about preparing for this one? A, having done it once, but B, knowing this is forever and I the end. Do you, do you just pull out the same speech and dust it off? You're gonna write something different, or 
Uh, I didn't write anything last time. I was just right off the top of my head. Uh, I just kind of spoke from my heart. Um, but I mean, uh, last year uh, the game was like hard. It was heartbreaking for me. Uh, the way it ended uh, it was just not the way I wanted to leave, and uh, that was really part of my decision coming back as well. Um, and then again, I mean, I know that on senior night I want to go out with a win, and uh, I hope I know that I'm gonna leave it all out there on the court. I know my teammates are gonna leave it all on the court for. Uh, as seniors as well. So um, I know we're going to get a really good effort from everybody, and uh, hopefully we can take care of that. Mike? Yeah, hey, Race. You've come back from injury midseason a, a couple times, at least in your career. I'm um, just thinking about X potentially trying to do that still. You know, what what stands out to you as the challenges of trying to do it midseason? And, and if he can come back, what are the main things that you think he can help your team late in the year here? Uh, I think the challenges of coming back midseason is just you don't play for such a long time. Uh, and getting back in the groove of playing in the game and in practice is just its just the groove of the game. It just feels off. And it takes a while to get that back. And then uh, if he if he was able to if he's able to come back, uh, I think he'll be able to help us a lot. I mean, the intensity he brings. I mean, we always say he's the dog of our team and we've missed that. Uh, as he's been out. Uh, so I think that he could just bring that dog back for us. Uh, somebody who leaves it all out on the court every second of the game. Uh, so I think that's something that he would help us with. Last question, Alex. Right, you mentioned uh, a couple of questions ago just about getting the defense right again. When you watch the games when maybe you guys don't play as well defensively, is it more of an effort thing? Is it a mental focus? What can you put your finger on? Maybe what goes wrong in those in, in those instances? Um, I don't think it's an effort thing. I think it's just mentally uh, that we're just not all sharp. Uh, I think that when we all go out there, we all go out there to win the game. And I don't think anybody's out there just feeling like I don't really want to be out here. So, um, yeah, I think it's mainly just a mental thing, uh, locking in in practice, locking in uh, when that game comes, uh, really being keyed in on, on defense during the game and just sitting down in the stance, uh, staying ready. I think that it's really just a mental uh, thing for us, and I think that I don't think that will happen again this year uh, based off the way we responded in practice the last days and the way we watched the film. I don't think it will happen again. All right, thanks, Race. We'll see you guys Sunday. Thank you.